So my question to you is, how did your grandma make you feel as a person and as a human being? And what type of emotions uh, do you feel right now? Uh, how she made me feel as a person. She made me feel like I could do anything. Um, she always told me she was proud of me. Even when I was doing wrong. Uh, it's just too many words. Can't explain how my grandma was. She was just a wonderful, loving person. Um, what more can I say? I mean, right, right, right. Like you said, words can't explain it. It's the feeling. It's that feeling that comes over you when you think of her, and you know, it's just. Something words can't explain, but it's the feeling that comes in your heart. Like, damn, this, you know, it's just this warm type of feeling. Like, in some ways, do you feel like she's still, she's still here with you? Every day. You know, today's my birthday. 29 today. I woke, I woke up this morning thinking I had, thinking she, she would call me, like she does every, every time on my birthday. And, when I looked at my phone, I had no call from her, and that hurt. It still hurts. She's not here, but I know she's here in spirit. Right, right. Um, like I mentioned before, losing, losing a loved one is tough. Somebody that you love, care about, whether it be a family member or a friend, or especially a grandma or a parent, it's really tough. When you got that news, uh, what had happened? Uh, what, what actually went through your mind around that time? Because I know you and your grandma were close. What actually went through your mind? How did you feel around that time, at that very moment? I couldn't take it. I broke down. I just broke down crying, asking God why, why her. But at the same time, I know she was tired. And I know she was ready to be with my grandpa. I wish she was here today, but I can't be selfish. You know, she's in a better place. She don't have to, she don't have to suffer no more. She don't worry about being sick or you know all the pain. But I know she's here. I know she's watching over me. I know she's still proud of me. You know, um, she always told me she was proud of me, and I and I'm glad that. She got to see myself get clean and get my life together before she passed. Right, right. And that's the best gift you can give anybody. It's just changing for the better and seeing seeing you change for the better, you know? One thing about this is, you know, life is too short. And whenever a loved one can see you change and see you better in yourself, that's the best gift you can give. Her. So, my thing is to... Is the grandma was an amazing person. Uh, you mentioned going to her gravesite as well. Uh, I was actually there with you when you uh, was at your grandpa's gravesite, and that was just a very yeah, emotional. They're buried next to each other. Yes, yes, and that's a very emotional experience right there. So knowing now that your grandma is buried next to your grand grandpa right now when you go there do you feel both of their spirits or how do you feel when you go to that grave site I feel warm inside because that tells me that they're they're both right there keeping me warm hugging me telling me everything is is gonna be all right and uh, you know, I, I just break down crying, even though my grandma would tell me, don't cry, because that's not what she would want. She would want to see me smile and happy. But we were so close, I can't help it. You know, today's my birthday, she's not here. If you had any words to say to your grandma right now, what would you say? That I love.
over and I'll do anything to keep making her proud. I will never, I will never fail her again. So we're in here in your grandma's house and my thing is, uh, what did she mean to you? Actually, she's, she's my mother. More than words can even explain. Uh, she was my guidance. I didn't realize that until she's not there to guide me anymore, you know? But, I mean, I can still ask her questions, I just won't get that response, you know? Um, she was everything. And I was just too foolish to realize it at the time, you know, to respect that, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, we never realize what we got until it's gone, you know, sadly. As as human beings, it happens. But um, just know she's forever with you in your heart. Um, what type of motivation does your mother give you coming up in life? The motivation was that she did it, like, why couldn't I? Uh, they did it with no education, her and my father. Why can't I? I got education, I got, you know, certain structures that could help me. They didn't have none of that back then. Um, they just had the next man next to them, you know what I mean? Family and friends, that's it. And they managed to have homes, uh, children, with children and constantly helping everybody. Like, right. that's amazing. Like, I can only strive to be like that. All right, exactly. And that's what it's all about, man. You know, um, you can come from the bottom, but you can also work yourself up. And that's a prime example. There's no excuse. No excuse for anything. Your mother is a prime example. Your father is a prime example of that either, you know? So looking back at things, what were some of the best times you spent with your mother? When she knew I was in trouble or something was bothering me, um, it was actually the best times because she would sometimes forget that she was my mother and just talk to me, just like she was my friend, like make fun of me sometimes, or you know, uh, tell me that it, you know I got choices and to do what I thought was right. And for her to say that means that she trusted my my thoughts, my you know everything, my tuition, because um, she taught me that obviously, uh, you know. But, but she trusted me enough to to know that even if I made a mistake, I would try to correct it. Um, exactly. Next question is, what were some of the good and bad times you had with your mother? I mean, we all have ups and downs with our parents. What were some of the good times and what were some of the worst times that you had? When she, uh, when they let me act like I was grown. That was kind of the worst times because I got in the worst trouble and they didn't uh, baby me. I mean, they let, I had to do what I had to do. I go through the courts. You know, and it hurt them. Uh, and to know that I hurt them and, and that I didn't make good decisions was kind of the worst time. It wasn't sitting in the jail, it was the fact that my mom was disappointed in me. All right, right. But the fact is overcoming it and realizing your own mistakes, you know, just to make your mother happy, you know. It seems like you did, you did that, you accomplished that. If you had any words to say to your mother right now, she's still here. Or even up above, man, you look up in the sky, what would you say to her? I love her, and I did hear her every time she spoke to me. Not to worry. Right. Moving on, I know how it feels to lose a parent. Where do you feel like you stand now? Just uh, knowing your mother's not here, where, how do you feel? What, what's going on in your mind right now?
am I going to do right by my children like she did us? I mean, she did everything she could. Am I going to be able to stand up to that, you know what I mean, uh, for my kids? And right now I know that I'm, I'm not in a very good place. Uh, I'm trying to come out of it. My kids, I know they need me. And now that my mother's not here, I don't, I don't have her to actually lean on, you know? It's, it's time for me to step up and one way or the other and do what I gotta do. And that's scary. I mean, that's straight up. Um, scared, nervous. And my thing is, um, she's forever in your heart and there's no need to be scared or nervous. Just think of your mind anytime you're about to make that decision. And you know, you'll make the best one. You'll make the right one. You're still young, still got a lot of potential. And she's always with you.
I just want to say, um, how did your mom make you feel? She made us feel uh, loved. Taken care of. She made me feel um, invincible, you know. She took all of her our worries upon herself. Um, a very strong lady, caring, loving, nurturing. Uh, understanding, uh, and we'll make another mom like her ever. Exactly. What were some of the best times, the good times and the bad times that you have with your mom? We all have good times and bad times with our parents. Right. What were some of the good times and what were some of the kind of worst times, the struggle times that you have with your mom? Uh, the good times were when we had our birthdays and barbecues here and, you know, listen to Mexican music, you know, she loved Mexican music, you know, and things like that, and uh, she loved when we came over, spent time, you know, even if she was getting older and stuff, you know, it, it got to her, but at the same time, she loved it, you know, seeing her grandkids, her uh, great-grandkids. Uh, and some of the bad times is when she got sick and stuff, you know, it, um, she knew that, didn't know she, you know, that we weren't able to come around to be around her and stuff when she was sick, and, uh, especially when, you know, she got pneumonia and stuff. And, and, um, it was a little tough on her, you know. I think she knew in her heart that, uh, you know, with this stuff going around, this COVID, and, you know, and she found out she ended up getting into stuff that I think she kind of knew, you know, uh, I don't know how to put that or how they, you know, they know, but, um, yeah, um, she was ready, she was ready, and, you know, she, um, as being the oldest, and you know, I have two other siblings. Stuff, my dad and her, they they, they left us in a in a good spot, to not to have to worry about you know her leaving us and stuff. And uh, you know that, that 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 was a blessing. You know, for them not having any school education or couldn't read or write, they sure did know how to take care of things. You know. And that's one thing that uh, I'm proud to talk about, you know, is that, you know, people just don't just matter. How do they, how do they do with this? You know, you, you, your guess is as good as mine, but they did it, you know? So, uh, yeah. I, I think that the bad time is that we're not going to be able to see her anymore. But she's in a better place. She's with her 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 uh, sidekick now her dad our dad and so you know we can't be selfish you know she's uh, resting and, and she's looking down on, uh, you know they're both looking down on us and uh, they'll take care of us you know and we have to do the same take care of each other so all right if you had any words to say to your mom right now she's here right now uh, what would you say to her even if she's up in the sky right now what would you say to your mom We'll miss her.
we'll see each other again sometime. But until then, rest in peace. I just wanted to start off this interview saying you look exactly like your mom. Thank you. Like a spitting image. Like if I were to put a picture side by side, mm -hmm. the same smile, everything. Yep. I actually had the pleasure of meeting her and taking a picture. And what can I say? What a gentle soul. Yeah. My thing is, uh, what type of feeling did your mom give you like every day, each and every day uh, in your life? Well, to be honest, um, for a long time, me and my mom were, were distant, and um, I had moved away to Salina, and then I came back, and our relationship, it blossomed into something that I could have never imagined it blossoming to. Um, so, going for him, um, From a phone call every day to not having a phone call. Yeah. But um my mom just it was awesome. There's no other words to put to that. Um she was the mother of the world. That's what I know. And such a kind spirit from all the interviews I've done so far man just it, it's enough like she's an angel she was a, truly a blessing yep. in this world and uh, my thing is too what were some of the good times and what were some of the bad times that you had uh, with your mom we all go through our ups and downs with our right. parents what were some of the good times and what were some of the bad times of struggles that I'd have to say, um, I think really our worst, as of, as titling a bad time, was losing my dad. Um, that just tore us all apart because he was young. You know, um, everybody has ups and downs. We all do. We had our ups and downs. Yes, we did. Um, I can't call them bad. I call them wisdom, times of wisdom. You know, when a person's growing up, kids are growing up, they don't, we think we know it all, you know, we don't. And um, even though she thought we weren't listening, we were. And I thank her for that. Because if it wasn't for her, I don't know where I'd be today, you know? Um, good times. That was always, you know, I mean, I don't remember us not laughing or joking or something, but what made it so great was every time we seen her was her hugging us, telling us she loved us praying over us all the time. You know? My mom was... was remarkable, really. Um, she helped so many people and she would get angry at us because, you know, me and my little brother, we help a lot of people, too. And I told her one time, I said, Mom, it's just because we've learned it from you. That's what you do. And she thought about it. She said, she started laughing. She was like, well, I can't argue that because you're right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we had a lot of good times, so. What was the best gift your mom ever gave you? Wow. My mother's love. 
It's priceless. You don't know what you got until it's gone. Nothing will ever measure up to that. Yeah. If you had any last words to say to your mom right now, she was here right now, even as you look up in the sky right now, what would you say? That I love her. And that I'm sorry. For all the times I stole her peace. But thank you for always being there when I needed her. Even though I thought she wasn't, she's always there. No matter what. And I miss her. And I wish she wouldn't have gone so soon, but I understand. And everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna be alright. I just want her to be happy. I know she is with my dad. Why don't you give a big hug for me? And I'll see her someday. It's not forever. And as somebody else said, um, it was never goodbye. It was see you later. She didn't like that. So, uh, that's what I'm going to say. I'll see you later, Mom. Son, I love you. state your name? My name is Dawn Rowan. Alright, alright. And uh, we're here to we're here to talk about uh, the passing of Bertha and Mendez. And what I want to say is uh, how did she make you feel as a person? <laughs> Let's see. I've been here for 25 years. And she appreciated me most of the time. And raised these kids. So she didn't have to do it all on her own. And finish raising hers. Still. <laughs> She has really done a lot and touched a lot of hearts as well. And um, my thing is, what, what type of skills did she teach you? And I, it seems like she just she, she motivated you to be the person you are. <laughs> when she wanted me to do something, she'd lay it out in front of me so I would. She put her curtains and her curtain rods on her bed four times before I actually hung them on the wall. The painting on the wall and then the middle bedroom I did. Painting on the wall in the other bedroom I did. Tile work in the bathroom, not the floor. I wasn't my I did the walls. Mm. The dining room the kitchen, I did that. I found my extra wallpaper strip the other day when I was packing. Looking back, what were some of the good times you had with Roberta Hernandez? What were some of the best moments you had with her? Bingo? Oh. Yes, yes. Well, just thinking about I, I could look at your face and I could just tell there were so many good moments, especially Bingo, man. <laughs> Everybody loves bingo. Man. And um, she's definitely someone to be cherished and missed. If you had any words to say to Miss Alberta right now, what would you say to her? Oh my God, why did you leave me here like this? <laughs> Cherish. 
she left it sitting pretty well. She knew it was time. I was already sorting through her stuff, getting rid of it. So I guess I've only had to go through half of what she used to have. I can't believe your dad is a minimalist and your grandma has all of this crap. <laughs> Box after box after box. And I started counting roosters on the first day I was at 28 and when I finished I was at 45. Because they just kept showing up. She used to come home from the thrift store. Guess what I was down? And I'm like, I don't know, a rooster. <laughs> a lot of hidden jewels at the thrift store. Mm -hmm. Right. So, looking back at everything i mean you watched her better illness and you just watched everything unfold and my thing is what were some of her last days like here on earth she was waiting she was waiting for them all to come and say goodbye and she waited until the last ones got here she was waiting for the baby until sebastian got here As you walk inside this house right now, um, of course she's forever in your hearts, but what type of feeling do you get when you just walk around this house and you just... I watch the back of my head if I have a kitchen trash bag going into the bedroom. <laughs> I used to get in trouble for that. Don't use my good kitchen trash bags for that bed bedroom trash. Okay, what do I use? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Until I had to buy them last week. <laughs> She definitely will be And I've been hiding the toilet paper in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I haven't had anybody come down the hallway and say, Who's in the bathroom now? <laughs> Go away, poop patrol. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. She definitely will be missed. And um, I just uh, thank you for your conversation. I mean, it seemed like you and her had a very cl close bond. Yeah, it was a long, long time. 25 years. Wow. That's a deep one. 25 years. 25 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of good memories. Mm -hmm. A lot of good moments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, started, I couldn't find anything in those boxes of pictures he packed away to send with CJ, so I just started getting on everybody's Facebook, stealing their pictures, right. printing them from my phone. Right. When you look at her pictures right now, just all the good moments, all the good memories, um, what type of feelings just go through your mind when you're looking at these pictures? I promised I would raise these kids, and I did. Is Frank raised yet? Oh wait, is Uncle Steve raised yet? <laughs> Their grandpa before he died made me promise that I would raise these kids. Because nobody else was going to. And then I raised more after that. And they come at me from every side. But that's alright. Did a fantastic job. It's all worth it when you pick up that baby. That's my grandson. No, not my grandson. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to have you do a state your name. Jennifer Hernandez. Yes, yes, yes. And what I wanted to say is uh, you experienced a lot of good times uh, with your husband and a lot of good times with his family. And you had and the pleasure of just meeting everybody, and they essentially they are, they are a family to you. Uh, what was your first experience like uh, meeting Grandma? Grandma. Uh, the first time I met her, she was oh, she gave me a lecture, 
And after that, we became close. One thing about Alberta is she was able to make really good bonds with everybody she met. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, uh, when you talk to her, uh, what was the type of feeling you get? Did you guys ever have like deep conversations? Oh yeah, I'd sit at the table with her and talk in Spanish and the guys would be like, what are you talking? And we'd do that on purpose just to make her grandson mad. Or wonder what we're talking about. She always made everybody laugh. Right. Well, just, uh, man, just enjoying the moment with her is just, just something, just, it's timeless. Uh, you were there when we took the photos, actually, mm -hmm. too, and that was a really. That was precious. We looked at, we watched those this morning and he couldn't even watch it all the way. We had our last moments with her before we found out she was sick. We had a family night. We sat here watching Medea and she couldn't stop laughing. And she stayed up all night with us watching Medea. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, it, it's the memories that count and it's the memories that will last in our for, forever in our heart. Small moments like that that become timeless as we look back at everything. What, what was going through your mind when you got the news? Which Why, Grandma? Why her? She's one of the most kind hearted. She helped anybody. She kept basically this family together. She helped anybody when they needed a place to stay. She would give her last couple dollars to somebody. Very, very kind heart. If you had any last words to say to her if she was here right now, or even if you look up in the sky, what would you say to her? That I love her and thanks for accepting me like she did and we're gonna keep her proud. It's never goodbye, so I'll see you later. Thank you.